are you feeling joy in what you do? And if you can't answer those questions, What advice would you give someone who's still trying to figure out their path, their calling? You know, I'm lost. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. You know, it's something I think we all have been through at what some do I point. Do? Yeah. <laughs> um, if there's one thing you could tell someone who's in that position, what would you tell them? I think the inner monologue that we have with ourselves is sometimes a monkey in the brain that keeps telling you to do this and that, et cetera, et cetera. The mind. Cessation is nonstop. We're constantly engaged. Think about it. The moment we wake up to the moment we sleep, yep. we're engaged by screens. Mm -hmm. We're engaged by movement. We're engaged by people. Yep. And then we're trying to fall asleep. And what I experience a lot with some people, especially in my class, I hear a lot, I can't sleep at mm. night. Mm. I can't switch off. So I don't think it's a question about what do I do with my life? But how do you let go of the things that are happening in your life? How attached are you to certain things that, you know, give you that purpose? Is it very valuable? Is it stressing you out? Is it giving you adrenal fatigue? Mm. Is it serving your purpose? Are you feeling joy in what you do? And if you can't answer those questions, then I would say, let's go for some meditation. Let's quiet the mind down a little bit and focus on things that are valuable to you and serve purpose and go for that. Like go for the things that are meaningful for you. We all have a job, right? Yeah. We all mm -hmm. have to pay bills and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But then there's also that other part of your, your self-worth and self-love and self-compassion. Just be a little gentler to yourself. It's okay. On Power 98 Love Songs.